Oh, okay. So it's time for some more ace combat. Last time we finished Special Mission 3 with Matthias Torres. Matthias Torres. We won. And it was and it was a pain in the ass to finish. But I did it. Oh okay. Gotta continue. Cape Rainy Assault. The rest of the mission should be still on hard mode, that's what I started the story on. With the loss of an arsenal bird, followed by the destruction of their ballistic missile base, Yerusha is running out of ways to counter. This is a great opportunity for the Ocean Army to bolster our power to eventually take down the Yerushan capital of Farbanti. The special long-range strategy is entering its final phase. Our objective is to attack and capture the Erujan Air Force Base in Cape Rainey in northern Erujan. This important base is at the forefront of our strategy to establish control of Farbanti. Under the cover of night, our plan is that all squadrons will invade from the valley to the south and mount an air assault on the area. The enemy's observation field has eyes on the skies above the valley, so your altitude will need to be restricted. Fuck. If you go over a certain altitude, the enemy could spot you, ending the mission in failure. Keep that in mind. Okay. Once you arrive, you are to take out the enemy's air defense forces as soon as possible and prepare for the support squadrons. When the air defense forces are neutralized, the helicopter squadron should arrive carrying Marines. The plan is to take control of the base. Getting through the valley is only half the job. Okay. You know, that doesn't seem too bad. We just gotta fly through a fucking valley. Go on the other side. But my question is, if you fly through valley, what else is there? Huh? They're not just gonna have us fly through this valley and have nothing happen, are they? Alright, so let's look. Okay, so B-52 bombers, AV, AVs, Harriers, MiG-29s, AC-130Us. Those are... Can those even fight us in the air? Well, I suppose they have guns. And there's a small amount of SAM and AA guns in the ground, so nothing really hard to worry about. Uh, actually... So, nothing really on the ground to have to care about too, care about too much. Let's take a look at the aircraft tree again. Let's see what we have in here. I'm so close. So close. So the mission can't be as simple as flying through a valley, it never is. I don't think I need to change my special item loadout, but I'm going to the 4 AMs for this. Uh, yeah, should be fine. Strider Squadron, aircraft prep complete. You're cleared to taxi. Operation Werewolf, cloud cover scattered. Two in the fucking morning. 16th of September. Beginning nighttime aerial refueling process. Be careful of reduced visibility. 1500 meters to tanker. Make right.
Getting them that way in the air would just be a fucking nightmare. Strider 1, you have passed okay. through waypoint 1. No weapons until you reach the enemy base. All aircraft, reduce altitude. We have altitude restrictions from here on out. Keep altitude below 600 meters. Okay. Good. Maintain your current course. Caution. Pull up. So is this going to be just a super fucking hard acrobatic nonsense? Caution. Pull up. Caution. Wait, there's searchlights? Wait, are there people in this valley? Searchlight up ahead. Watch for it. Stay out of their sight. Are people manning those? Do they not need to hear the fucking jet flying past? We'll get you down safe. I'm worried you're short on men. Everyone here has already signed their wounds. That ain't funny. Never was good at jokes. Okay, follow you with. Good luck. A helicopter with a searchlight. And they also don't hear the giant fucking jet engine or pass like. Hey, do you see any planes? What? Part of the Caution. mission. Caution. Caution. Pull up. Watch your speed. Caution. Caution. Or what they see me? Caution. Pull up. You've passed waypoint three. Pull You're up. coming up on the base, imposing radio silence. We won't be able to talk again until you're over the base. Caution. Continue to Pull keep up. an eye on your altitude. There are plenty of dark spots that can sneak up on you. Got lost. Strider one, you have passed through waypoint okay. one. New no weapons until you reach the enemy base. Fast as possible. All aircraft reduce altitude. We have altitude restrictions from here on out. Oh no. Keep altitude below 600 meters. Bad idea. Good. Maintain your current course. Searchlight up ahead. Watch for it. Stay out of their sight. 
Make a wrong turn as that Caution. one. Caution. Pull up. Caution. Pull up. Caution. Keep an eye on this Pull map up. as well. Caution. When can we take on the Pull final up. mission? I'm starting to get Caution. tired of all this. This is the last step, Count. We'll Caution. take the enemy base and use it as a bridgehead. Watch yourselves out there. Caution. We're going to need all of you in Farbanti. Without Wiseman here, everybody wants to Pull give up. orders like they're the company commander himself. Caution. Uh, the best thing about Strider Squadron is our leader keeps his mouth shut. Caution. Pull up. Caution. Caution. Pull up. Realistically, I don't even think Caution. we need the elements to try to just blow them the fuck away. Caution. Caution. Pull up. But if it works odds. Caution. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Okay, so there's a right Caution. hand turn coming up. Alright, this is where shit gets fucked. Please, for the love of God. Visual confirmation on the airbase. Reach destination. Commence the attack. It's time for their wake up call. The longer it takes, the worse off will be. Hurry up. Finish them off. Alright, let's give them a beating. Strider 1, locked on target. Strider 1, you've got their attention. Damn Keep right, bringing them down. Strider 1, this is launched. Enemy start attacking! Where the hell did they come from? Don't forget our leader is bird! Hurry to the wounds under the ground! Fire up the searchlights! I can't see where the enemies are coming from! It looks like the enemy's air defenses are online. Yes, they finally decided to wake up. Keep on the attack. The sooner we finish 
Finish this tank, the better. Destruction confirmed. That air 
support was right on the mud. Hmm. Pushing the enemy on their heels. Okay, start running on the count of three. Great, I get to find the set my boot is in to ring the blue bell. There's still quite a few enemies hold up in there. However, we can't afford to wait any longer. Begin the assault. If anyone resists, kill them. Contact! Yes. Two o'clock! Go! Go! Fire! Man, you guys make the Megalith boys proud. How'd it go? Stall warning. Stall warning. Caution. This is Basil's yeah. one. The base is ours. We have control of all major functions. Glad the pizza was on time. Roger that, Basilisk one. Mission accomplished. All prisoners of war will be treated in accordance with international law. We've even brought pizza. <laughs> Looks like they can shred those wills. I'm already getting an earful from the men over the needless paperwork. <laughs> no joke. <laughs> okay, fly ahead and begin your approach. We'll do the flight control. Roger that. Strider 1, this is Basilisk. The runway is clear. You have permission to land. The party is on as soon as you get here. I damn right better have permission to land. Capture the damn piece. Reduce your speed. No. 3,000 meters to the runway. Turn right. Strider 1, you have passed. Thank God that went as smoothly as it did. Even though I failed, as usual. Excellent work on the night raid. Submarines have arrived from the Ocean mainland and are refueling. This base will serve as a frontline platform for our mission to take Farbanti. We're almost at the end of this operation. That's great to hear. <sighs> Next mission. Huh? Mihai's second sortie was designed to calculate how his physiology changed under the oh. stress of combat. My sure job was to compare his performance as a pilot now to when he was younger and understand how his skills evolved. To tell you the truth, I'm not sure I wanted to know the answers anymore. For a man his age, Mihai's body was unbelievably resilient, remarkably flexible. His reflexes were as sharp as they ever were. Still, after all those years of flying in the outer layers of the atmosphere, even someone as strong as Mihai wasn't immune to the effects of the strain. The human body is fragile. It was not meant to handle the excessive amounts of radiation that constantly bombarded the stratosphere. Is that a thing? For Mihai's second sortie, we used a flight suit that was still untested. He seemed fine on takeoff, but by the time he landed back at the base, it was clearly a mess. He got caught in a surprise dogfight with an especially stubborn enemy. It took a while for Mihai to bring him down. Ooh. Suspend mission. The suit was ineffective. According to the data, it wouldn't let him fly to his full potential. A new flight suit was made to my exact specifications. When it finally arrived, 
Mihai's granddaughters glared at me with their disapproval. They blamed me for the pain their grandfather had to keep enduring. But he wants this. But Mihai remained stoic. He wasn't the type of man who cared about anything that happened here on the ground. I wasn't worried about it. I was confident the new suit would protect him thoroughly so that he could maneuver his plane any way he wanted. The moment he took off in his new flight suit, I realized what I had failed to before. Right after takeoff, as the wheels retracted, the plane suddenly arced up. It accelerated so quickly. I had never seen a plane move like that before. Mihai hit the high G's multiple times before disappearing into the blue. The support team couldn't even keep up. And then I knew. I understood why he never seemed to care about restoring his stolen country back to its former glory, and why he didn't seem to care about anything that happened here on the ground. Of course, Mihai's kingdom was the sky. I like Mihai.